Hey, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast, Lesson 10-6, Subtract Mixed Numbers. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by another astronaut, Neil Armstrong. He said, it suddenly struck me that tiny pea, pretty and blue, was the Earth. I put up my thumb and shut one eye, and my thumb blotted out the planet Earth. I didn't feel like a giant. I felt very, very small. I think Neil Armstrong is a true hero, just like Mae Jemison is a true hero. They're both astronauts and, and scientists, and so our, I think you'll have some fun seeing the pictures from this. Our learning goal tonight is to subtract mixed numbers. Here are our individual lesson learning goals. These are the actual steps in the process we're gonna to use tonight. So you'll be checking these off when you understand each step. Remember the steps aren't difficult, but they do take time. So don't take shortcuts, work it out fully. Number one, use the make a cake strategy to find the LCM of the two denominators. Number two, create equivalent fractions using the LCM as the new denominator. Number three, convert those mixed numbers to improper fractions. That's gonna be important tonight. Number four, subtract the improper fractions. Number five, convert the improper fraction back into a mixed number and simplify if needed. So here is our first example. I love those pictures of Neil Armstrong. That's him getting ready to get on board his shuttle craft. And um, I guess they called it a spacecraft and you can see it there. He's getting up, climbing up the ladder. But I wanted you to see that award he got. He's in the Aerospace Walk of Honor and it's the words written on it are imagination reason and skill and you need all those things to be a mathematician too so i thought that was cool our example problem is seven and two thirds minus three and five six and i've separated those whole numbers from the fractions with several spaces so that you can see their whole numbers and not part of the fraction go ahead and write those vertically and we'll do them together on the bamboo tablet i realize i'm going to be talking pretty fast in this lesson to fit all the steps in but you can always pause it rewind and listen to it over and over so I'm going to line up my whole numbers and my fractions. I have denominators that are different, which means I can't subtract them because I have different sizes of pieces in my fractions. So I'm going to come over here and make a cake to find the LCM. And I put both of my denominators, the small one first and the bigger one second, inside the bottom layer of my cake. And I ask myself, what number will divide evenly into both 3 and 6? And 3 will. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 6 two times. And then I ask myself, what goes into both one and two? And one is the only thing that will go into them. One divides into one one time, and it goes into two two times. So I'm ready to make my crazy L all the way around. If I turn my head to the side, I can see my L. Remember, I don't have to multiply by those ones. It doesn't change my answer. Three times two is six. So my LCM equals six. So I'm gonna write my six right here, my new common denominator or same denominator. And I'm gonna leave my whole numbers here for just a minute while I come up with my equivalent fractions. And I ask myself, I'm gonna go ahead and change my pen color just so, well, no, I'm not gonna leave the same. Um, what do I do to this three to get six? And I multiply it times two, three times two is six. So whatever I do to my denominator, I have to do to my numerator. Two times two is four. Now I'm gonna come down here and do this one. Whatever I, what do I do to six to get six? Times one. So five times one is five. Now it's time I have to add my whole numbers back here. And then because I'm subtracting, if you look at those, num those numerators, excuse me, I can't say four minus five because five is greater than four. So I'm going to turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Here's where I'm gonna change my pen color so that you don't see too many numbers up here. Remember to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, we multiply the denominator times the whole number and add the numerator. So six times seven is 42, plus four is 46. And my denominator stays the same. Then I come down here and do the same thing to this mixed number. Six times three is 18, plus five is 23. And my denominator stays the same. So now I have some fractions that I can actually subtract because I can subtract 23 from 46. 46 minus 23. Six minus three is three and four minus two is two. So my numerator is 23 and my denominator is still six. And you're saying, that's not okay. That's an improper fraction. The numerator is greater than the denominator. And you're right. There are some hidden whole numbers in there. So we're gonna come over here 
and remember that um, larger number on top we're gonna send home because the larger number shouldn't be on top ever in a fraction so we're sending them home and six is gonna go knock on the door to see if 23's got her feelings hurt so six goes into two it doesn't six goes into 23 three times six times three is 18 three minus eight I can't do it but 13 minus 8 is 5 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so my remainder here is my new numerator and my denominator stays the same so my new mixed number is 3 and 5 6 anytime there's only one number difference between your numerator and your denominator you are not going to be able to simplify so this is my final answer here are our practice problems. I love that picture of Neil Armstrong. He got all kinds of awards. Number one, six and three tenths minus one and four fifths. Write that problem vertically, pause it, push play when you've solved it. Did you write four and one half? Let's check out how we did that. Okay, so we're gonna ignore our whole numbers for a while and we have different denominators, so we need to find an LCM so I'm going to write those in the bottom layer of my cake. What number will divide evenly into both 5 and 10? And the only number that will besides 1 is 5. 5 goes into 5 one time. 5 goes into 10 two times. And what will divide evenly into both 1 and 2? Just 1. 1 goes into 1 one time. 1 goes into 2 two times. When we've repeated those numbers, we're ready to make our L for our LCM and multiply all the way around. Remember, we don't have to multiply by those ones, so five times two is 10. Our LCM equals 10. So our new common denominator is 10. So I'm gonna ask myself now to find my equivalent fractions. What do I do to 10 to get 10? And I multiply by one. So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. Three times one, is three. What do I do to five to get 10? Times two. So four times two is eight. I'm ready to bring over my whole numbers now. Okay, so if we're subtracting three minus eight, we can't do that. So we need to convert these to improper fractions. So let's go to green. We're gonna multiply and then add. 10 times six is 60 plus three is 63 and my denominator stays the same. Now we'll do the same thing here. 10 times one is 10 plus eight is 18, and my denominator stays the same. I'm ready to subtract. I don't wanna make a silly subtraction error after I do all of this hard fraction work, so I'm gonna actually rewrite my numerators. Three minus eight, can't do it. 13 minus eight is five, and five minus one is four. So my answer here is 45 tenths but you're right, that's improper. It's not okay for that numerator to be bigger than the denominator. So we're gonna send the numerator home to her house. She's inside the division house. 10's gonna go knock on the door and see if she's okay. 10 goes into 45 four times. 10 times four is 40. 45 minus 40 is five. So my remainder is my new numerator and my denominator stays the same. Now. If I'm looking at this fraction here, four and five tenths, I know that I can simplify five tenths because five divides evenly into 10, but I've already made my cake here. Five tenths written horizontally as a fraction is five tenths. There's my fraction bar. There's my fraction bar. There's my fraction bar. Remember, when you simplify, make a cake, look for the bride and groom on top. So one half is my new simplified fraction and my whole number, can't forget that whole number. So my final answer is four and one half. Number two, nine and one third minus four and three fourths. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write four and seven twelfths? Let's work that one together. So I have different denominators, so I'm gonna to wanna to make a cake. And I put three and four in the bottom layer of my cake. The only thing, the only number that will divide evenly into them because they are only one different from each other is the number one. One goes into three three times, 
One goes into four four times, so I'm ready to make my L after only one layer. One times three is three, and three times four is 12. My LCM is 12, so that is going to be my new common denominator. I'll write it right here. I want to have room in case. Okay, so I ask myself, what do I multiply by three to get 12? times four. So one times four is four. What do I multiply by four to get 12? Three. So three times three is nine. Again, I can't subtract four minus nine, so when I add my whole numbers here, which is so important, I'm going to convert them to improper fractions. That means I'm gonna multiply and then add. My new denominator, 9 times 12 is 108. 108 plus 4 is 112. And my denominator stays the same. So down here, 12 times 4 is 48, plus 9 is 57. And my denominator stays the same. So now I'm going to come over here, and this is a subtraction problem, so I'm going to have to subtract 112 minus 57. There's a little borrowing here. 12 minus 7 is 5, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So my final answer is 55 twelfths. Um, and that is an improper fraction, so I need to do a division problem again. 55 goes in the house, 12 is outside the house. 12 goes into 55, let's see, we already know if 12 times four is 48, that's probably as close as we're gonna get. So we'll put 48 here. 15 minus eight is seven, and four minus four is zero, so I have seven twelfths. My denominator stays the same, equals four and seven twelfths. I know I'm not gonna be able to simplify because seven is a prime number and it will not divide into 12 evenly. So this four and seven twelfths is my final answer. There's Neil Armstrong cooking pizza. So our word problem is about Neil Armstrong and pizza. Neil Armstrong liked to bake pizza. He used two and three fourths cups of cheese on the pizza. If the bag of cheese held three and one half cups of cheese, how much cheese is left? Look for those key words. Think about what you're actually doing. Picture that bag of cheese and what's happening here and what you're looking for. Pause it and push play when you're ready. Did you write in a complete sentence, Neil Armstrong had three fourths of a cup of cheese left over? Let's work that together. So if you're looking for keywords, how much he had left is always a key to subtract. But here's the bag of cheese, three and one half cups, and he used two and three fourths cups. So whatever's left over, I'm gonna find from subtracting. My denominators are different. So I'm gonna put them in a cake. What goes into both two and four? Two. Two goes into two one time. Two divides into four two times. What goes into both one and two? One. One goes into one one time. One goes into two two times and I'm ready to make my L. So, ignoring those ones there, two times two is four, my LCM equals four. So let's come over here and write our new common denominator, our new LCM or LCD, and ask ourselves, what do we do to two to get four? We multiply by two, it's always multiplication. And one times two is two. So what do we do to four to get four? Times one, so three times one is three. I still can't subtract these, and so as I add my whole numbers in here, I'm gonna convert them to improper fractions. So I'm gonna multiply and add. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14 fourths, because my denominator stays the same. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11 fourths. Now I can subtract really easily. 14 minus 11 is three, and my denominator stays the same. Now, that's my answer, 
three-fourths cups of cheese. Neil Armstrong had three-fourths cups of cheese left over. Time to challenge yourself. Paige bought a box of chocolates that weighed four and three-fourths pounds. She shared three and two-fifths pounds of the candy with her friends. How much chocolate does she have left? Show your work in your flip journal and come to class ready to check your answer. Finishing up, oh, I love that statue they're carving of Neil Armstrong. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Review your learning goals. Give yourself a one if you're still really, really struggling. A two if you've almost got it and write down those questions that you still have. Or a three if you've got it. Magnificent mix numbers. This is the toughest lesson ever. You've completed lesson 10-6, subtract mixed numbers. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.